Hey, remember this game? It's back in stream form. I'm Duke of the Bump. Welcome to the chat room. More Draconis, Alex TF2, Anime Flame 12, Just Drop, Mancat 147, McGack 2, and King 121222. Thank you all for coming. And uh, I did a let's play of this, and the let's play was. Uh, the wizard levels on this the tame skill and I always said I would come back later and do the sorcerer levels and I finally am uh, welcome to the chat room Nick Silumbrion thanks for coming how is everyone tonight so uh, I never actually beat this game on sorcerer I made it to what I assume is the final boss at least it better be the final boss because I was never able to beat it. And today I'm planning to get my revenge. Can you not hear me? I'm broadcasting. Uh, Master Magoo. It went live for half a second. Okay, you can hear me now. Can you can you see the video? Holy crap, look at all these people. Uh, <clears throat> okay, well, just in case, uh, just in case, I will go over the chat room again. Uh, Alex CF2, C Nice, Darian Mask, Anime Flame 12, Just Drop, Kostja, Master Magoo, McGack 2, Nixil Umbreon, Pokemon 28, and uh, more Strikonis, if I didn't already say that. Okay, anyway, I already played the wizard levels, and uh, today I will be attempting the sorcerer levels. I was actually intending to uh, to finish up humans, but the general consensus was that was w that, that didn't humans didn't make a very good stream game, so uh, I decided to go back to this instead. Uh, for anyone who hasn't watched the LP, this is the overworld. Um, this is where any fruit that we collect shows up, it hangs on these trees, and we can mix fruit together in this cauldron to cast magic spells. Uh, Mancat147, welcome to the chat room. Alright, uh, this is an arcade game. Uh, with... Uh, it's pretty... Frenetic. And frantic. Hence the title of the game. Um, I'm actually not really that certain if this will make a good stream game either. But, uh, since I'm not doing humans, I wasn't really sure what else to do this week. So, uh, I will give it a shot. I might have to end Retro Game Week prematurely if uh, this doesn't work out. So our goal is to collect all the letters at the top of the screen there before time runs out. And along the way, we also collect fruit and or vegetables. Although for the pur purposes of this game, every piece of produce is referred to as a fruit. Uh, to mix in the cauldron. And we collect extra time and stars, which are the currency of this game. And, uh, this is a tough game, I'm not gonna lie. I did okay when I was playing on Wizard. Um, Valkrist Hikaru, welcome to the chat room. And Karinitere, welcome to the chat room. So how's the back, Morse? Morse Draconis had uh, an incident this morning where he was suffering from some back pain and was unable to uh, to attend work. I saw that he was talking about it in the chat room, which is why I bring it up. Hurts like a bitch, but it's nothing serious, the doctor said. Just a strained muscle or something. Magic Emerald Collected. Okay, that was a potato and a mango that we just mixed together. And we unlocked one of the four gems. Now, collecting these four gems doesn't really do anything that amazing, so I'm not really going to focus on that. Just a strained muscle. That's good. Bet you're glad you went for the health insurance now, aren't you? Otherwise, you would have had to actually pay for the doctor visit. I mean, you still have to pay, but it's like a $15 copay or something. Uh, the main, uh, the first, 
spell that we really want to save our fruit for is the item shop, which is apple plus banana. So once I collect this banana, hopefully this next one will be an apple. Okay, it is. Awesome. So I won't have to, uh, to delay at all. The item shop is going to be essential because there is one specific mini game that I'm going to spam quite a bit uh, to make the game beatable. Uh, and that mini game is called uh, Take a Chance, and it is uh, it is activated by combining orange and lemon, which we can buy in the item shop once we open it. And the Take a Chance mini game has a high ch a high probability of giving you stars, a lot of stars that you can use to purchase extra lives, which knowing me, we're going to need. And this is the item shop. We can buy or sell fruit. We have no fruit to sell at the moment. Um, and we can buy... Well, nothing right now because we only have 12 stars. But eventually we'll be able to buy all this fruit. And every one of these fruits, when mixed with another fruit, casts a different spell. Some of them are awesome. Some of them are not that great. Some of the combinations do nothing. We'll just have to discover as we go along. It would be nice if Duke streamed a co-op game with Moors. Well, you should have been here for the bonus stream on Sunday because we played Terraria with uh, Nama Gym, and it was fun. What's the difference between Sorcerer levels and the ones you did before? Well, the Sorcerer levels, it starts out the same as Wizard, but there are way more levels when you play on Sorcerer. And there are uh, at least four or five additional bosses other than the ones I did on Wizard. Dark Wolf, Dark Wolf 44, welcome to the chat room. He says, hey Duke, I love this game. Oh crap, chat room. Damn it, why do I always forget? Um, let's see. Pants, pants, revolution. There, okay. Um, how was Terraria? Uh, it was fun. Uh, I was as useless, as useless as I usually am, uh, because... I haven't played the game outside of what you've seen in the stream, but uh, Morse Draconis and Nama Jim were able to, uh, to pick up the slap. slack. That's an onion, by the way. I know it might not look like it. And already we are out of time. We have 10 seconds to find the extra time token, which uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to get. I did, however, get the onion, but I did not pick up any additional time. So it looks like I'm going to die as soon as I hit the start button. Oh, that's the extra time icon, but I did not catch it in time. I'm going to have to do better than that. And we lost our first of three lives. Now, there is a password system in this game, so if we lose our, all our lives, we can uh, continue without too much of a setback. Um, however, we do have to uh, do any levels we've we've already done in the current world again. Um, if we beat the boss and made it to the next world, then that's, uh, that's a checkpoint, essentially. So once I beat the boss, I basically don't really have to worry about lives anymore at that point. Now, the little fairy that you see hovering around Wiz occasionally uh, is letting you know that a web is about to explode. Uh, Baker bot and <sighs> Arthur, welcome to the chat room. Do the levels wrap around? Yes, all all of the levels uh, scroll horizontally as such, and just repeat infinitely. I say Arthur because uh, his username is uh, too silly for me to say on the stream, so his name is now Arthur. That's a banana and an onion. Not a very appetizing combination. Oh, it opened the bonus game. I didn't even know what that was going to do. It's Waiting Wabbits. This is one of the uh, numerous mini games. Um, in this one, our goal is to uh, basically catch these wabbits before they hit the ground. That 50 counter up there is counting down to, uh, to zero. Every time a wabbit hits the ground, that counter goes down by one. And as you can see, stars occasionally drift up from from below us and we can catch those.
By the way, you can just call me Magoo Duke. Okay, well, I was, uh, I was assuming I should be formal, but I will follow your wishes. And as you can see, they are coming down much more quickly now, and uh, pretty soon this is going to become unsustainable. But we can pick up a pretty good amount of stars in the meantime. Now the amount of stars you get don't really make it worth it to, uh, to actually buy the ingredients for, for this mini game, mini game to buy an onion and a banana. Uh, but since I had the ingredients anyway, I figured uh, what the hell I'd just go on ahead and see what they did. So what I was going to play for this stream, uh, I was going to play Prince of Persia, because I recently read the book, The Making of Prince of Persia, by Jordan Mechner, which is like his uh, diary for the duration that he was making the game. And it's pretty interesting. Um, I enjoyed reading it, and I, I never actually really played much Prince of Persia. Uh, I played it for 10 minutes when I was really, really young, like 6 or 7, and uh, I just couldn't grasp the controls at the time, and I couldn't make it past like the second screen. So uh, after reading the book, I thought, well, what the hell? I'll uh, I'll give it another shot. Uh, new, new, Raziel three nine one and Harlequina, welcome to the chat room. This mini game looks pointless. Uh, the point is to get stars. That's it. There's no uh, no additional goal there. So I went back and I played Prince of Persia. I tried the original Apple II version first, since that that was the original, and just for. Uh, you know, historical curiosity, I decided to give it a try, and it was unplayable. The controls were abysmal, and uh, I thought, well, okay. I mean, he did say in his diaries that the Apple II version basically paled in comparison to the ports that came later, so uh, I tried the Genesis version, same problem, Super NES version, same problem, and uh, eventually I figured out that the game is just horrible. Um, the controls just what you do with the control pad bears no resemblance to what the character actually does on the screen. Like, I don't know how people played it, even in 1989. I mean, yes, it is really pretty, and the rotoscoped animations are really cool, and I'm sure they were unlike, you know, anything anyone had seen at the time, but as a game, just, I don't know, man. I mean, obviously it was just popular because of the quality of the graphics. Uh, Monkey Man 8, welcome to the chat room. How old am I? Uh, I am older than you. Let's just put it that way. It's easy enough to find out, just Google it. In fact, I think I say how old I am in my profile info on something or other. So yeah, Prince of Persia, interesting book, terrible game. That's a cherry and a mango. It gives you one second of extra time, which is not a very good reward for those those fruits. I would have rather just had the money from them. Now, the uh, mini game that I was talking about, take a chance, is Orange and Lemon, which would cost us a total of 90 stars. So I'll be able to do that uh, after the next level. If I, if I had sold the fruit that I had, then I would have been able to do it now, but, uh, but it didn't work out that way. So remember, orange, mango, plus cherry. Bad combination. Looks like Duke is good at this game. Well, relatively. Um, I mean, I'm not great, as you can probably tell since I've already died. Uh, but I have, you know, played it quite a bit, and I know what I'm doing. Now, talking at the same time is going to make this uh, a challenge, which is something that I ran into with the LP as well. Um, in fact, during the actual levels, I probably won't be talking as much since I'm focusing on uh, collecting things. Damn, did not get the banana. Did I see the chat? Yeah. I typed Pants Pants Revolution into the chat room. Oh, good, a lemon. 
Hopefully I can actually collect this one, which means I will only need to buy an orange. Now if you abuse the extra time too much, eventually it will stop showing up. At least that's my experience with the game. If you do so badly at this game that you, uh, that you collect the extra time several times in a row, eventually it just won't show up and you'll just lose a life. Now there is a trick to making it show up. You can press like a certain combination of, uh, of buttons on, on the d-pad or something to make it immediately appear. But uh, I, I won't be abusing that for the purposes of this playthrough. Uh, Kermodium, welcome to the chat room. Alright, uh, so I have a lemon but I did not pick up a banana. So, uh, let's go ahead and buy an orange. I'm pretty sure I, uh, I played this mini game in the LP. But, uh, I'll probably end up having to, uh, like I said, having to abuse this mini game a bit to, uh, make sure I don't run out of lives. And Arthur left the chat room. Alright, it's basically, uh, uh, three card Monty. Uh, you have three weights hovering above three icons. The P is points, and the time gives you time, obviously, and the stars give you stars. Now, what we're looking for is that. Okay. I had a bad feeling about that. I probably should have gone for the time. Um, usually, if there's just one star... Uh, actually, I don't really have anything to base that on. It was just a uh, just a gut feeling. It feels like when there's just one star to choose from, as opposed to uh, two stars and something else, the star is usually bad news. But at least I was able to get myself some extra time, which is better than nothing. I'd say I got my uh, my 30, 30 stars worth. So yeah, uh, for anyone who missed it, uh, as I said, Morse Draconis, Namajim, and myself stream Terraria on Sunday. And that video is going up on uh, on YouTube. I just have to uh, edit out something at the very beginning. When we first started the stream, I uh, I forgot to close the, uh, the stream window in my browser, and I had the audio echo problem. And I alt-tabbed into the browser, and the window that was up was my email inbox which I did not want going out over the stream. Not that there's not that there's anything incriminating in there, I'd just rather not have, you know, all my personal documents on display. So I just have to edit that part out of the video real quick before I put it up on YouTube. And I, I already deleted the videos from Twitch, so uh, so don't go looking for them if you're planning to blackmail me. This is the, uh, the bonus round, which we get by collecting one of each of the blue letters, B-O-N-U-S, and in this round, every wabbit gives you time or stars. And if you can get all the wabbits before time runs out and make it out the door, then you get a point bonus, which I did. I collected all the wabbits in that level, so I got 50,000 bonus points. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Glorious Most. Is this for PC or Xbox? Uh, both. You can get this game on the Wii Virtual Channel, uh, virtual console channel, you can get it on Xbox Live Arcade, you can get it on PSN, uh, you can get it on Steam. No, you, you can't get it on any of those things, it's just a Genesis game. Are you going to stream something else after this? Well, we'll see, Raziel. I mean, I'm, I'm fickle. I might end up playing this for two hours, or I might get tired of it and stream something else. Uh, Strawberry Carrot. If I remember correctly, that is not a particularly interesting combination. Uh, there's another mini game that I I do a lot. Um, I'm thinking it's Orange Strawberry, but I'm also thinking that might be something completely different. And uh, if I remember correctly, it's an easy way to get extra lives. Has Duke ever played Gunstar Heroes? Yes, Morris Draconis and I did an LP of that game, which you can find at youtube.com slash user slash mushroom. Ah uh, yes, splat the dudes. Now the trick in this game is that you don't want to actually splat the dudes, you want to splat Pugsy. And if you hit him enough times during the course of the minigame, you don't have to hit him with all 20 tomatoes. I think just uh, 18, 
17 or 18 is sufficient. But if you supply him enough times, it rewards you for your cruelty with an extra life. I don't get their logic, but uh, that's how it works out. No bonus for being perfect, unfortunately. Is that what you think of Pugsy? Have an extra life. So, do you agree with me? Are you glad I splat Pugsy 20 times? Is that why you're rewarding me? Ugh, now I wish I'd seen it. Well, you can still see it. It's on my YouTube channel. We were so bad in that. I don't think so, Morris. I think we did decent in Gunstar Heroes. I mean, it wasn't the best we've ever done in an LP, but I thought it was entertaining enough. Of course, a lot of people complain that I, uh, I didn't play the, the music in the game. I was playing my own music, which I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't think the music in Gunstar Heroes is really that good. It's mostly just noisy. Not that I have a problem with noise, but, uh, I don't know, it wasn't appealing noise, if you, uh, if you catch my meaning. And that was a head of lettuce that we just picked up, and this is a strawberry. You know, come to think of it, Splat the Dudes is probably a better minigame to spam than, uh, and take a chance. I mean, it costs less to get the ingredients, and you pretty much have a guaranteed shot of getting an, an extra life every time, as opposed to uh, to take a chance, where you know you might get a whole bunch of stars, but you know then again you might not. Of course, the stars are useful for other things besides just getting extra lives, but extra lives are really the important thing. I'll stream it with Duke if he's up to it. Uh, well, I mean, I appreciate it, but I don't really stream with people I don't know. So, uh, so I'll have to pass. Well, let's see. Um, well, let's see. It's cabbage, not lettuce. An important distinction. Because if you try to make coleslaw with lettuce, you will be sorely disappointed. Diddly squat. I don't like that one bit. Hey Duke, would you ever stream the game Pugies has for the Genesis slash Mega Drive? I don't know what any of that means. You'll have to, uh, you'll have to enunciate. Do the chat room version of enunciating. I think I should splat some more dudes. I know this isn't really that exciting. Um, but you know, it's important to get a stockpile of extra lives in this game. It must be Pugsy. Well, Pugsy is spelled P-U-G-G-S-Y, so I don't see how we can screw it up that badly. Aw, oh, damn. No perfect for me. I shouldn't have said this is a guaranteed extra life, because knowing me, I'll fuck it up now. However, between doing Splat the Dudes, you know, I will mix together whatever random fruit I pick up to see what the effects are. So hopefully that'll be a little entertaining. Not sure if I mentioned this, but uh, I will finish Humans. I'm just probably going to do it off stream. Just do it like a normal LP style, because a lot of people didn't really seem to be into, uh, didn't seem to be into humans live. Yes, I mean Pugsy, would you ever stream the game he is in Duke? Well, I did an entire LP of Pugsy. It was the first LP I ever did. Well, besides Mega Man 2, but I don't really count that. So I don't really see the point in uh, streaming Pugsy when I've already 100% of the game in an LP. Alright, um, well, 
I think we just have uh, one more level here before the boss, which is Woodland. Usually I save Mineland for last because uh, it's the hardest, because the Wabbits tend to kind of blend into the background. But these first sets of levels here aren't really a huge challenge. Now once we beat the first boss, we'll start having three rounds per level instead of just two. And uh, it'll take us more time to collect the vegetables and fruit, and uh, it's just overall more difficult. Oh, and also disappearing letters will start showing up. I think I went over most of this in the LP, but uh, you know, I'm sure there are people here who, uh, who didn't watch that, so I will uh, cover the main points. And if anyone has any questions, let me know. Aw, oh, damn. Just one potato away. Uh, Alphasis, welcome to the chat room. Hey Duke, could you stream Half-Life 2? You know, that might actually be fun. I, I don't know if my computer will be up to it though. In fact, it probably wouldn't. Well, I mean, I could probably stream it, but I'd have to play it in like 800 by 600 resolution and the stream would still be choppy and not really very high quality. I could do the original Half-Life, probably. Or Half-Life Source. I love those games. Now one advantage to doing uh... Well, I have a boss coming up, so let me uh, take care of this real quick. The Savage Pumpkin. Okay, so yeah, this is a totally new boss. We didn't fight him at all in the uh in the wi wizard levels. Now we have a life meter, which is only present during the boss battles. And we have to uh, hold A to fire our beam of uh, magic at the pumpkin. Hmm. Okay, I got one of his eyes. To defeat him, we have to take out both his eyes and his nose. And also his mouth, I believe. I've been taking a lot of chances. I think I will, uh... I'll slow my roll a little bit. And not risk taking so much damage. Because I only have two hit points left. And if we die to the boss... We die in real life. We lose a life just like... Just like if we were playing the normal game. And lost a life that way. Ow. Damn. Normally when I was playing on the Genesis, I would have a rapid fire controller, which actually makes this a little bit easier because every time you lose the beam, you have to uh you have to retarget it, so to speak. If you know what I mean. Like you have to press the button again to uh to get a, to get a lock on him. One thing I forgot to mention is that this game has some great music. This is some of my favorite music on the Genesis. Uh, Paradox Zero, welcome in the chat room. Um, I forget what I was saying. Oh well. And we get some bonus points at the end here for every wabbit that we rescued. Every fruit that we got, every star that we had, and extra, every extra life that we had at the end of the thing. And we collected enough points, uh, a million, to get an additional extra life. So good for us. Duke, I know game suggestions are annoying. Yes. Yes, they are. Thank you for recognizing that. The fruit's all more expensive now because we beat the first boss, and it gets more expensive every time. Oh, I forgot to point this out, but uh, you can get a random fruit for 90, which uh, isn't really a great deal, since half the fruit costs less than 90. More than half the fruit costs less than 90. But you do have a chance of getting, getting an extra life this way as well. A 1 in, what, 24 chance? 1 in 17 chance? That was a bad estimate. I remember Odell Lake. Yeah, I played that game in school all the time. Oh, I remember what I was saying. 
It's kind of silly for me to have a retro game week, because in a way, every game I stream is retro. Like, they might be new, but they're all retro style, except for Bastion. But everything else, you know, I, I streamed Oregon Trail, you know, that's very retro styled, VVVVV, VVVVV, very retro. Um, the Binding of Isaac is very reminiscent of the original Legend of Zelda. And, uh, and roguelikes. And, you know, rogue is extremely old. Every game I play has, like, a retro sensibility to it. But, I mean, it is good to take some time out and play some games that are actually old. And Terraria. It's, uh, all pixelated and 16-bit style. Uh, okay, so we have another set of levels here, um, all the same levels that, the levels that we just did, but now their layouts are different, and it is a little more difficult to uh, to rescue all the wabbits. And right off the bat, we don't have a lot of time left, which is bad because not a lo whole lot of wabbits have spawned yet, making it more difficult to locate the extra time. Wow, another strawberry. This game wants me to abuse the extra life minigame, apparently. Now at first, it's a little easier than uh, before, because uh, the number of wabbits that you need to collect and so on is less. But uh, as I said, there's three rounds instead of two, and as you, as you go further on, uh, it becomes difficult once again. Oh damn, I thought I saw it. Oh. <sighs> damn. You should stream Dead Pixels. Never heard of it. VVV, VVV seem totally bad. Oh, BA. Badass. Yeah, it is a pretty badass game. I'd say other than the Binding of Isaac, VVV VVV is probably my favorite game that I've streamed so far. Well, since I, uh, yeah, since I started doing the new streams. I mean, Wizard was fun, but it was kind of basic. Um, and you know, eSplot's cool and all. Not my favorite game ever. Hell, it's not even my favorite Genesis game. But VVVVVV, I don't know. It was just really unique. I don't know, I did like Bastion a lot too, though. I mean, Binding of Isaac is definitely my favorite game that I've streamed. In total. I got more enjoyment out of that game than just about any game I've streamed or LP'd. Uh, the GTF, welcome to the chat room. What do I think of Streets of Rage? It's okay. It's a beat-em-up. I don't really care for beat-em-ups. Uh, okay, well, I have five lives, which is enough for now. Let's, uh, let's make something delicious and see what happens. Pear plus strawberry. Oh, it's a minigame. Oh yeah, it's Pong. Actually, it's not even Pong. Because there isn't an opposing paddle. Literally all you do is bounce the ball around and collect points. This is probably the worst minigame there is. Well, the worst minigame in Wiz and Liz. There's uh, nothing interesting about it. I think if you last long enough, it gives you like a huge point bonus or something. But I don't know if, if I've ever had the patience to do that. I mean, it, it doesn't even get more challenging or anything. The ball just goes at a constant speed the whole time. Yeah, 
You know, I'm surprised they actually use the word Pong in the description in this mini game. I wonder if uh, if they had to pay to do that, or if it's an unlicensed usage of Pong. Because you know, Pong is a fiercely protected trademark. It's the only thing that Atari has left. Well, that and Centipede. Okay, maybe it does get a little bit faster. It's just a, a gradual increase. If I can get if I can get a million points, I'll get get another extra life. Ah. Okay, yeah, I'm done with this. Doesn't Atari have Pac-Man and Frogger too? Well, Pac-Man is Namco. I don't know who owns the Frogger license. Might be Atari. Not even any blocks to hit. Yeah, it's like Wizard, only a, a billion times worse. Fuck, I think the left click button on my mouse just fucked up. Damn, Morse. You've had, uh, shitty luck recently. First your TV died, then you have back problems, now this. Those are totally, uh, equivocable examples. Damn it. I got fixated on the banana. That's what she said. Come on. Ah, whew. Unfortunately, I only collected one time icon, so uh, this probably isn't going to go well for me. Oh. Whew. Got that one by the skin of my teeth. I'm gonna have to, uh, to cut back on the dicking around if I want to be successful at this game. I need to remember that wabbits are more important than fruit. If there's one lesson that you learn from this game, I want that to be it. President hasn't started screwing me out of that yet. To everyone who says that the Genesis universally had worse music than the Super Nintendo, I present this game as a, uh, a counterexample to that. Oh, fuck. Damn. Just barely missed it. Dude, I was totally laughing about that shit like 30 minutes later. What difficulty am I, am I playing on? This is tame. There are three difficulties. Training, uh, tame, and taxing. And training is basically just, uh, it's baby mode. Even if you play Sorcerer on training, it's still, like, a small percentage of the actual game. And taxing is just way too fucking hard. So, uh, tame is a good middle ground, I'd say. And again, I have things working against me trying to livestream this game. Um, talking at the same time distracts my intense concentration on collecting wabbits, and also just the fact that I haven't played this game in a while is uh, a mark against me as well. Uh, Slashy, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat room. This music is decent, but one game is not a game library. Well, this game is the best example of music on the Genesis, but there are other great examples. I mean, all the Sonic games, I would say, had great music. And the Streets of Rage games, even though I don't like beat-em-ups, did have decent music. 
I am going to uh, sell that fruit to fund my uh, to help fund my extra life farming. You can argue that streaming this provides an extra challenge. Uh, I can, and I will. Streaming this provides an extra challenge. Want to fight about it? I like East 3's music, it's on the Genesis. You know, I've never played an East game, but that's a series that I've always wanted to check out. I understand that it's, uh, it's kind of similar to Pop Full Meal in its presentation. You know, this was originally an Amiga game. Also, Pugsy was originally an Amiga game. The Amiga had some badass games. BRB. And I'm back. Apologies, apologies. There's an East game on Steam that looks awesome that I really want to play. Yeah, uh, I saw that. I added it to my wish list. It's a, a more modern looking East game. I'm really glad that Xseed has started, uh, has started porting some of their games to Steam. I haven't played any of them yet, but I'm planning to. If any of them go on sale during the uh, the big Steam summer sale, then I am definitely want to pick them up. Did I get the strawberry? I don't know if I pulled that out. Stream Golgo13 and Hate Your Life. Never played it. I usually don't stream games I've never played because uh, I don't know. I just I don't think it goes well. I mean, there's some entertainment value in uh, in a blind LP, but I just don't know if it really works for a stream. Because like I'm tempted to ask the chat for help all the time, and you know the chat room can spoil stuff, and you know I don't want to be a dick and tell them you know and ban them for spoiling stuff, but, you know, I don't want to have the game ruined for me either. I don't know. That's why I tend to just stick to games I've already played. Well, that plus, you know, it's more interesting than watching me fail numerous times. Because I'm really not that good at video games. The only reason I appear to be somewhat capable at playing Binding of Isaac is just because I've played it a ton but right off the bat, when I first start playing a game, I'm not good. Yeah, I should have seen my first two binding, my first few binding of Isaac attempts. It was, uh, it wasn't pretty. Uh, Ponderer One, welcome to the chat room. Do I know the level layout by heart? Uh, I'm sure I sort of have the muscle memory. I don't really, uh. I mean, I, I couldn't tell you what I'm doing, but uh, the muscle memory is there. I'm waiting for them to hopefully go on sale, because $20 is a bit much for a game that I have no idea if I'm going to like or not. Yeah, it's it's a little steep. I am going to uh, mix mango strawberry, because I'm going to hold on to that orange and then buy a lemon, and then do the take a chance game again. 
hopefully build up some stars and time. Oh, that's a mini game too. Wow. Oh yeah, it's this one. This is a wheel spin. Uh, you can get a random item, uh, a random fruit, or time, or points, or an extra life. I used to know exactly where you had to hit it if you wanted to get an extra life, but uh, it's been too long, so I'm just going to hit it. Ah, uh, damn, I was close. See, mushroom is actually a pretty good, uh, a pretty good get because I can buy an avocado and mix the two together and get an extra life. You should LP a Kingdom Hearts game. What would give you any idea that I would ever LP a Kingdom Hearts game? I've never LP'd a PS2 game. I've never mentioned Kingdom Hearts in my streams. I do like Kingdom Hearts, but I don't have the setup to play or record it. LP God of War. Yes, I will get right on it. Let's see, what, what are some other awesome recommendations? Oh, I know. I should LP Gears of War 3. That would be just that would just be the the best LP ever or no I, I'll, I'll LP uh, Madden 2013 that is right up my alley see it sucks when you're collecting oranges because the time icon looks just like an orange it's uh, round and orange the only difference is it's shiny Wait, that would be the worst LP ever. Oh, cool, avocado. I can mix that with my mushroom I just got. Um, let's play Madden 2013. This is my team. I'm the Dallas, uh, the Dallas Ninjas. Um, let's try to put the round egg-shaped object into the other team's uh, area. Ah, <sighs> no avocado for me. Potato plus mushroom equals two hundred and fifty stars. Well, don't don't spoil things. If I mix things in the game, then I want it to be a surprise for both me and the audience. You know, that's the. Uh, that's the fun of this game. Oh I mean, yeah, the free combinations are the same every time. So, you know, if you remember it, it's not going to be a surprise. But, um... Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's new to you. Well, oh, I'm dead. Damn. That's not a spoil. Uh, I mean, I disagree. I mean, it's not like a plot spoiler or something, but, you know, it's, it's a gameplay spoiler. I think that's possible. Of course, this game doesn't really have a plot to spoil. Spoiler alert, you rescue all the wabbits. Do should LP Pong. You know, I found or somebody linked me to a uh, Now I'll go on ahead and do it. Now that I know. Might as well. Someone linked me to uh a Pong game that someone made with like a bunch of really interesting takes on the Pong format. Like there are 55 different Pong games you can play or something and uh, they all have a different uh, rule condition or something that makes them interesting. The only downside is that you can't play against a computer. You have to play with another player. But uh, I just kind of ran through them, you know, by myself just to see what they all were and uh, it's pretty interesting.
And you can call any game tip a spoiler. Yes. Yes, they are. Alright, 200 extra stars. Wow. This is already paying off. Lightning can't strike twice, can it? Well, it didn't, but I only got 20 out of it. Oh, do I risk it? Mm, I think I shouldn't. Damn, I should have gone for it. Uh, Kalash239, welcome to the chat room. Alright, yes. This is definitely going the way I was hoping. Now, this is probably a trap. No matter which one I pick, it's probably going to crush me. Oh, no. Wow, I'm surprised. Has Duke done Rocket Knight Adventures? Uh, I like that game, but it is insanely, insanely difficult. I have never beaten that game. You know, it's been going after this one a lot. I think it's about to change it up. Ha! I was correct. You see why I like this minigame now? Now you see, I'm not going to fall for that. It's tempting me with that time icon, but I'm going to go after the worthless points instead. Ah, damn. Oh well. The game is called Snakes on a Cartesian Plane. I'd play that. By the way, all these words that I'm spelling, in theory, they're all real words. Like, there's a mini game called Guess the Words, where it has these, uh, these gibberish nonsense words, like biggin, and other words I've been spelling, and you have to try to guess, guess the definition of them. So I'm assuming that there's some basis in reality for them, unless they just completely pull them out of their ass. Now this game is British in origin, so I assume it's some kind of weird, uh, weird accented dialect or something. Like Gaelic or, uh, you know, one of those other dialects. Scottish. Celtic. Those are the invisible letters, by the way. If you collect them, they will remove a letter that you've already collected from your, uh, from your lexicon. Oh shit. See, it's a, sh it's a shame CPC Gamer isn't here because, uh, he could say whether he's actually heard of these words before or not. No strawberry? Damn. Man, at this stage of the game, it just takes a lot of fruit if you're, if you're going to actually collect it. Sorry if I'm in a bad mood today, by the way. I've been reading a book called uh, The Destiny of the Republic about the assassination of James Garfield. President James Garfield, for those of you outside the United States. And uh, it, is, it is really, really excellent. It is probably the best historical nonfiction book I've ever, I've ever read. And uh, it was hard to put it down to do a stream, honestly. It is, uh, it's a real page turner. I'm a little over halfway through it. And, uh, highly, highly recommended. Um, but before I started the stream, I had just gotten to the part where, uh, where Jane Garfield, uh, wh where he dies. Which, you know, isn't a spoiler, because we all know that James Garfield died, you know. It was the whole premise of the book. But, uh, you know, the, just the way it described his death was just really hard. It was really heart-wrenching. I mean, I cried. I'm not going to, uh, not going to beat around the bush. So, you know, a little depressed because of that. Really ex excellent book, though. I can't wait to finish it. Wisdom Liz teaches you grammar as well as healthy eating. Well, uh, yeah, I guess all these items are technically kind of healthy. Um, except the potato. That's starchy and not really that good for you. And avocado is really fatty. Wisdom Liz taught me how to have a seizure trying to watch it. Yeah, I was worried, uh... I was worried this game was a little too action-intensive 
Um, well, I have 53 seconds on the timer. I have a shitload of stars. Eh, why not? Let's have fun. If I start losing lives, I can always just stock back up. Avocados are unsaturated fats. Lunar land skipped. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I actually already did Lunar Land or not. When it started, it was giving me a migraine. It's better now. Oh, geez, sorry. I didn't realize it was that bad. Well, let's just take a moment to relax in the nice, peaceful little home area. You know, I don't understand why it's so important to rescue those damn wabbits anyway. I mean, what, what do they do? Why are they important? Am I planning to eat them later? I'm assuming uh, they're a source of food, otherwise they wouldn't be so important to rescue. Hey Duke, what games do you like? Uh, let's see. Uh, Wiz and Liz, Binding of Isaac, VVV, VVV, Bastion, Eswat, Humans, uh, Wizorb, Pugsy. You know, uh, you could probably uh, click on some of those links in the info to find out what kind of games I like. You know, there's a YouTube page where I played like a billion games. And you can go to my Steam account where you can see what Steam games I've been playing. Damn, collected a shitload of time that time. No strawberry though. Duke really only plays Call of Duty when he doesn't stream. Yeah, bro. It's just my jam. Oh, speaking of Call of Duty, um, has anyone seen the trailer for that new Disney movie, Wreck It Ralph? It's about a, uh, a villain from a classic arcade game who uh, gets tired of being a villain, so he leaves his game and he goes and explores other games. And, I mean, there's a lot of, like, gamer fan service, like, retro gamer fan services especially. And it does seem kind of contrived, but I'm probably going to go see it anyway. I mean, I'm hoping that, uh, that it's better than the trailer indicates. Because it seems like one of those movies that, uh, a trailer couldn't really do justice to. Wow, I got the potato. Oh, and speaking of, uh, animated movies, uh, Moores and I saw Brave recently. I wasn't really that hopeful about Brave, um, again because of the trailer, but uh, you know, Pixar pulled it out. It was good. It wasn't on the same level as like an Incredibles or a Wall-E or something like that, but uh, it was still good. I recommend it. I mean, the trailers don't don't even really tell you what the movie's about. It just kind of gives you uh, the general background flavor. So, you know, if the trailer's been putting you off seeing the movie, you know, I, I would check it out anyway. Hey Duke, will you LP Dead Space? Will you Duke? Yes, I will LP Dead Space. Visit my new LP site at www.meatspin.com just Mancat147. Everyone else don't go there. But Mancat147, that's where my LP of Dead Space is. Uh, Mango Potato. I'm getting pretty low on time. I should probably, uh, probably take care of that. I have 832 stars, so, uh, I think I will spend some of them with impunity. That's some retro trolling right there. Trolling? What are you talking about? That's my new LP site. Oh damn. I was going to do this one first. Well, I better hold off on it just in case Mango Plus Potato is a mini game. Because I don't want it to override this one. Uh, time. Five seconds. Eh. 25 seconds, that's better. Duke, will you LP meet spin? Uh, well. <clears throat> I've been trying to get the speedrun record in that game, and, uh, you know, so far I haven't had much luck. I'm stuck on this one really tough part. 
Eh, points across the board. Damn. Alright, this has been a uh, good investment, I'd say. Whoa! I actually cheated death. I've been trying to cheat death the entire time I've played this game, in this minigame. I'd be like, I'll jump across, and uh, I mean, normally you can't do that. Normally it kills you anyway, but it actually worked. Holy shit. I'm on borrowed time right now. No pun intended. I wonder if I could pull that off again. See, normally it won't let you uh, ru jump while you're running. See, I'm pumping the jump button and nothing's happening. But you can kind of, if you if you stop holding the button, you can kind of, um, you can kind of fudge it. But I've never been able to do it well enough. See, it's not going to let me do it at all now. Wow. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, it came back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> oh, I cheated death, but it eventually caught up to me. <laughs> oh, well. I got plenty of time and stars from that, so it was still worth it overall. <sighs> Punishment for my crime against death. It's kind of like that movie, uh, Final Destination. Where they cheat death, but then, you know, it eventually catches up with them. That's what just happened to me. That was the final destination of Wiz and Liz. Yeah, Darian Mask. That's the whole plot of the Final Destination movie. You, you should know better. I just relived Final Destination in my Wiz and Liz I'll stream. Oh, I'm glad I streamed this now. That was, uh, that was entertaining. Ugh, I hate mine land. The Wabbits have perfect camouflage against the brown background. And also just the way the uh, the levels are laid out, like the three different levels, it's uh, kind of irritating. Oh shit! I lost my mojo. I mean my exit. Sweet! Nab that strawberry at the last minute. How many seconds does the time thing in the shop give you for those 22 stars? Five seconds. That's it. So yeah, not worth it for 22 stars. Now if it was 30 seconds, then I'd just do that. Or even, you know, 15 seconds would almost be worth it. Damn, I should do take a chance again and see if I can cheat death once more. Now clearly, if you're going to try to cheat death, you should only do it on the outside. The out the outer ones. Because if you do it Well, if you do it towards the middle of the screen like I did, then you have a chance of uh of the middle one falling on you. Wow, that's crazy though, I didn't even know that was possible. I've made history on the stream. bit expensive for five seconds, yes. <laughs> I think that dude is still watching Meat Spin. Well, hopefully. I mean, that's one of my best OPs. This music kind of reminds me of the music for, uh... Uh, the beach in Pugsy. Well, not this part, but the other part. It was like a faster version of that same tune. Oh shit. By the way, if a wabbit explodes, you lose all your letters. So yeah, that's why exploding is bad. Exploding is bad, children. Don't do it. Drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. Alright, bonus round. Wiz and Liz glitch discovered by Duke. I wouldn't really call it a glitch, it's more like an exploit. You can uh, use the controls of the game against it. 
Although, honestly, I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to actually, actually replicate that. And I doubt I want to be able to collect all of them this time. Oh, by the way, if you don't go into the exit but by the time your time runs out, then you don't get any of the stuff you collected. So yeah, I just made it in there by the skin of my teeth. Unless you're Explosion Man, then, then exploding is good. Agreed. I did replicate it, just not in a good way. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think of it that way. And it's boss time. Prepare to meet the evil oak. This is one of a long, a long tradition of tree boss fights, as made popular by uh, Kirby's Adventure on the NES and every other Kirby game since then. Now the tree, the tree. Oh, I guess he does hurt you. When he falls, he hurts you, but otherwise you can just walk through him normally. And the acorns hurt you. Oh shit. Now he does have a very specific pattern, if I remember correctly, as to whether he's going to fall on the left or right. I'm pretty sure it's right, left, middle. Right, left, middle every time. So as long as you can uh, dodge between these acorns here, it's not going to be that tough. Or left, right, middle, rather. Well, you want to go... You want to go uh, right, left, middle. And now you have to kill each of the acorns individually. Will I also be able to pull this one off by the skin of my teeth? Nope. Not quite. Alright, so what happens when you die in a boss fight is it kicks you back here and you have to, uh, you have to do the most recent level over again. Cherry Mango. That sounds delicious. Surely this does something good. Did I already do that one or is that a different one? Uh, Inzu Duragna, aka Tazarin, welcome. Because I know something gave me one second of extra time, but was it Cherry Manga? Magic Emerald Collected. Was that the one I already had? Yes. Damn it! I really need to, uh, to utilize my memory nodules. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go orange, so I can do orange strawberry and get an extra life. Still plenty of money, which is going to come in handy because stuff will just keep getting more and more expensive. All right, Pugsy, it's time to get what's coming to you. If I remember correctly, the faces are uh, caricatures of two of the programmers on this game, but I forget which ones. Boy, they look British, don't they? I don't know, there's just something about their faces. You can tell they're British. Or you could write combinations on a piece of paper. <laughs> Who has paper? It's 2012. If I was going to write down the combinations, I'd just pull up Notepad and uh, do it that way. Oh yeah, you only have to do one round, which is nice. You don't have to do all three rounds again. And it's not the last level you played, it's uh... I guess it's random which one it opens up again. Alright, let's uh... Let's not waste too much time on this. Because we're so close to the end, I just want to kind of... Kind of power through this. Now Onion does is one of the components of the uh, Guest Word minigame. Which is fun but it doesn't really get you that much. The 
chick looks like that chick that died from an overdose. Oh, Amy Winehouse? I find it easier than all tabbing all the time. Yeah, that's true. But that would ruin the fun anyway. Alright, Evil Oak. It's time to get my revenge. This is a harder fight than the tree from Kirby. Up, oh, wrong side. Alright. Middle right left, middle right left. That's what side he falls on. Which are some other tree battles? In some ways it's better to just pump the button rather than holding it and trying to uh trying to rejigger it every time. Alright, acorn time. This is going much more smoothly. Those ones in the middle are going to be the trickiest ones. Got him. Excellent. I know what game you should play for real. Wizards and Warriors. Or I could just smash my balls repeatedly with a hammer. Same effect. Alright, 2 million points. Got an extra life from that. Alright, 18 seconds on the clock. I had better stock up. And everything is even more expensive now. Great. Lemon and orange cost me 180 bones. Or 180 stars, since bones are not legal tender. Not ghosts and goblins, wizards and warriors isn't hard. I thought all those games were hard. Wizards and warriors, ghosts and goblins, dragons and demons. Damn. See, actually getting him to jump horizontally is like weird. I don't know how I actually pull it off. Just sometimes it pulls it off. Damn! I thought I was going to change it up. Yeah, Duke, you should LP smashing your balls repeatedly with a hammer. It's the sequel to Meat Spin. I'm pretty sure I played Wizards and Warriors, and it was just as hard as Ghosts and Goblins. Or maybe I just suck. It is a distinct possibility. Hey, it's the uh, 2001 monument. Oh, you may notice that the level layouts have changed once again. Damn it! I spent too much time trying to get that tea. No lettuce for Liz. Cabbage. Cabbage.
So today at the store, I tried out these bagel thins. It's like a bagel, but uh, thin, like slices of bread so you can make a sandwich out of it. It's not like an obscene amount of bread for a sandwich. I got the everything bagels. It's like poppy seeds, onions, garlic, just all kinds of crap. It's pretty good. I don't know if it's the kind of thing I would eat a sandwich on all the time. But, uh, it's a nice change of pace. Usually I get rye bread, but, uh, the kind of rye bread I usually get, um, I forget what brand it is. Some specific brand that I really like. It's, uh, rye bread with dill seeds. Um, every loaf that they had at the store was already expired. Like, I mean, it's not like they just expired either. Like, they expired four or five days ago, and they were all still sitting out on the shelf. Is there someone here named Manel on Congregate? Uh, not sure what you're referring to. And yeah, I know bread can stay good, you know, for a few days past the expiration date. But if it's already expired when it's on the shelf, then, uh, you know, it's gonna go. It's just gonna go bad when I bring it home, even if it is still technically good. And it's probably still stale, or it's probably already stale. It's like, how can they just leave that shit sitting out on the shelf? Oh well, at least they're not changing the, the expiration dates or anything. Ah, damn! Damn you, W! Wow, got the strawberry and pulled that out. Rye bread is not widespread in UK shops. And well, that's a shame. Rye bread is awesome. Alright, well, I already have what I need to uh, make the cool mini game. Not sure what else I can spend all this money on. I guess I could do, uh... Man, it would cost me a lot of coin to get an avocado and, straw and uh, mushroom. Less than buy an extra life outright, of course. Because that's just ridiculous. Why would I spend 600 on this when I can spend, uh, 520 on doing it that way? I'll hold on to my money for now. Special request roasted garlic rye chip. Those things kick ass. It sounds awesome. All right, uh, let's uh, let's just get my extra life and, uh, and carry on. So just a heads up, um, once Retro Week is over, which should be over by the end of this week, uh, I'm probably going to have to take another short sabbatical from the stream. Um, you know, nothing major, just take uh, a week or two off again, like I did before, just to kind of recover. You see, I'm not really a, uh, I'm not naturally a social person. And, uh, this doesn't really come naturally to me. And occasionally, I need to take a break. Just to, uh, you know, just to get my stuff together. You know, I think the one on the right is actually supposed to be a guy. I think I remember remember reading that, uh, they're both guys who worked on the game. He just has a very effeminate haircut. <laughs> yes, Just Rep says I need fap recovery time. But yeah, I I'll announce when uh, when I want to do that. Like I said, it's not going to be uh, a huge break. You know, I'm not going to go 
a year without doing a stream or anything, but uh, <clears throat> just a little time to uh, to recover. Now you may notice um, more invisible letters. The wabbits start exploding faster. This is where the game really starts ramping up in difficulty. Of course, you know, an expensive vegetable like a mushroom is an actual in-game drop at this point. So, you know, the, uh, the the items are better too. But it is definitely, definitely ramping up. Now I can buy an avocado and get a free extra life. Well, not free, I'll still have to pay for the avocado, but uh... A cheap extra life. Cheap is free! Ah, oh, damn. Oh well. Can't win them all. These streams are addictive. Yeah, no, I mean, don't get me wrong, I do have a, a ton of fun doing the streams. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, it's not my, uh, my natural state. I was talking to Just Drop in, uh, in AIM the other day, and uh, I was like, man, I don't know how I ever st started, or no, maybe it wasn't him, maybe it was, uh, maybe it was Sore Thumb. I was talking to somebody, and I was like, man, I don't know how I ever started LP in the first place. Because it is not, like, the kind of hobby that I would gravitate to. If I get a soft avocado, I won't even have to pay for that. And just mix my two items together, and it is a free extra life. Of course, I died trying to get it, but, uh, it all works out in the end. Jippy Joppa. Now, I refuse to believe that that's any kind of real word. In English, in Gaelic, in Welsh, in anything. I mean, come on. Jippy Joppa? What the hell is that? Sounds almost like an onomatopoeia for something. Although, I couldn't imagine what. Sounds like one of those crazy Japanese onomatopoeias. Alright, bonus stage. Let's get us some stars and or time. Prefer preferably both. Man, I love this music. Alright, might be able to get all of them. Can't get too fixated on it though. Oh shit, two left. Wow, I am full up on stars. 999. I am going to have to, uh, to do something with this money that's burning a hole in my pocket. Well, first of all, let's get an extra life. Uh, Missy Shade, welcome. I noticed that uh, you subscribed to me. She follows me on Twitter, and I follow her as well. But uh, I think this is the first time I've seen you come to the stream, so welcome. Thanks for coming. Uh, let's uh, do that again, first of all. See, part of me wants to just buy two random fruit and mix them together, since I have all this money. But I know I'm going to get like an apple and a strawberry or something, and spend twice as much money as I need. So I'm just going to hold on to what's left. Jippy, is it Jippy Papa or Jippy Joppa? I think the word was, uh, I think the word was Jippy Joppa. J-I-P-I-J-A-P-A. It's a stem-like palm-like plant growing in Central and South America. Oh, it is Jippy Joppa. Okay, well, apparently that's what that means. Isn't it, isn't it obvious? Yes. God, how did I not know that already? I must be dumb or something. Alright, mine land, desert land, woodland, and... Wow. I have a lot of lands left. I thought I did more lands than this. Alright, well, that is your vocabulary lesson for the day. That is what Jippy Joppa means. Any, stra any Scrabble players take note.
Although I don't know if that would even be an accepted Scrabble word because it's like I don't know. I always thought that uh, that foreign words weren't allowed in Scrabble. That it had to be English or like commonly used in English, like a loan word. But straight up, straight up uh, Spanish words or whatever language that is, I never thought uh, I never thought those were allowed. But apparently they are. Man, like, Tournament Scrabble is just crazy. Like, I like Scrabble, but, uh, I don't like the way it's played in tournaments at all. Because, like, the goal of Tournament Play Scrabble is to, uh, play as many shitty, you know, two and three letter words per play as possible. To try to maximize your points on every turn. Because if you play two or three words at a time, then you get to count all those words multiple times. And it just ends up fucking the board up because you have all these tiny words and you know you're only building in like one or two corners and you end up with uh, a ton of open space that you just can't build off of because everyone's playing these bullshit tiny words see when I play Scrabble I try to make the best word I can I don't uh... You know, score is not really that big of a deal you know I try to use as many letters as I possibly can and you know open up as many uh as many playing opportunities as I can. But, you know, that just doesn't fly if you want to do this shit professionally. I love this music. This is one of my favorite tracks in the game. This is Snowland. Really excellent music. But this one especially, it's just so chill. God damn, already? What do you want from the game? I'm only one man. How can I possibly rescue all these wabbits? Whew. That was intense. Whose picture is on the wall? Oh. Oh, that's uh Bob Dobbs from the Church of the Subgenius, I think. Sure looks like him from this angle. His big smiling face, his corncob pipe. A gunk hole is evidently a shadow, shallow inlet or cove. Oh, well, the more you know. Spanish words are allowed in Scrablito. Alright, I have an apple, a mango, and a potato. For some reason, I think I've done mango potato already. I want to try mango apple. See what I get. <laughs> 75 extra stars. Eh. Not bad for free, I guess. I want to do orange potato because that's actually a pretty fun minigame. You don't really get a lot from doing it, but, uh, but I enjoy it. Hey Duke, my buddies say you have rabbits in your pants. Oh, well, your buddy is a filthy liar, and I'm going to sue him for slander and or libel, whichever one is applicable. Hey, it's a version of that shitty game that we all had on, <clears throat> that we all had on our 2003 shitty cell phones. This is actually the first version of Snake I ever played. Way before it was ever on cell phones. I did play on a, uh, on a computer after this, but before cell phones also. All you get from this is points. No time or stars or anything. But, uh, I mean, you can rack up a pretty decent amount of points. And you know, points aren't completely useless because when you get a million of them, you get you get an extra life, so why not? Oh shit. Oh shit, damn. The controls on this are just slightly iffy. Luckily you don't lose anything for not getting one of the uh, one of the things. You just lose an opportunity to get points.
Whew. I don't know what with the, what's with the cactus border. It's in both this game and the Pong game. Wow, that was like 150,000 points right there. I knew this would be worth it. Ah, oh, damn. I went the wrong way. And this is quickly becoming unsustainable. The spinning game is a metaphor for the current state of the United States economy. They somehow predicted it in 1993. In England. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that. No way. And I'm not gonna get that either. Uh, Pinful Door, welcome to the chat room. Thanks for coming up. Grab a seat. Get some of the refreshments on the craft table. Ah, that's the worst possible place it could have popped up. That too. I'm starting to think I won't get out of this one alive. Yep, I'm boned. It would be quite inter interesting to see Duke stream an FPS game, but like a retro one like Quake or something. Well, I thought about it. I shit you not, I thought about requesting you to stream this game this week. Duke hates requests. I don't hate requests, I just hate the quantity of requests that I get. Like, I'm just inundated with requests. In every orifice. Uh, Lola Ruse, welcome to the chat room. I might do Half-Life. I might. That's a good game. One of my favorite FPSs. The Newsroom is the best show on TV right now. Amazing. I want to watch that. I like everything I've seen that Aaron Sorkin has done. But the show's been getting like terrible reviews. Which, you know, I don't know what that means. Probably doesn't mean anything. But I'm going to check it out despite the reviews. It's cool that HBO uh, put it on YouTube. It's very unchar uncharacteristic of, uh, of HBO to do something like that. I'm sure it's just going to be the first episode. Because they would never make, make an entire series available online. Especially not for free. And frankly, I'm amazed that they even did it with the first one. Alright. Didn't even see that one. And the fruit is becoming prohibitively hard to get at this point. We're gonna have to uh, rely on the stars I already have. People are just pissed because Sorkin goes against the typical left right brainwashing. Well, I mean, wasn't The West Wing his first show? Like, super, like, left wing. I mean, it's literally. You know, the West Wing. The left wing. Uh, it had like a super left wing slant. Which, I mean, it's fine. You know, it just, it'll appeal to just one certain kind of audience. I've been meaning to check out the, the West Wing too, but uh, I have too much TV I need to catch up on. Damn! So close. Oh, you started watching the West Wing too? I 
I've been reading a lot lately. I go through these phases, like, I'll get totally hooked on a show, or a bunch of shows, and I'll just do nothing but watch those shows for like several weeks. And then I'll get on like a big gaming binge, and I'll just, you know, play games for 40 hours a week. And at the moment, it's been, uh, reading. Which is, which is something I need to do more of, in general. Ah, damn! God, way too many invisible letters. This is... Not manageable. But uh, I will eventually check out uh, both the West Wing and Newsroom. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whew. Wow, I actually got the cherry. Sorry, but what is the point of this game? Well, you see, a mysterious force kidnapped all the Wabbits. And your job is to rescue all the Wabbits. But uh, you, you only have a limited amount of time, for unknown reasons. Let me know when you want the West Wing. I'm, I'm in the process of T-Voying them all. Well, I've already t the first season. It's just been sitting around on my hard drive. I just haven't gotten around to watching it. <sighs> what should I mix with Cherry? Chat room, tell me what to mix with Cherry. Is TiVo in code for pirate? That is ridiculous. A, a baseless accusation. I won't have that kind of, uh, that kind of slander in the chat room. Cherry lemon. Done. That shit is getting mixed. Oh, sorry, just dropped. Pinful Dwarf was first. Damn! Cherry lemon. Cherry Lemonade. Oh, it's a mini game. What? Uh. What? Okay. Um, somebody decode this and then tell me what I have to do. Your smart chat room, and I'm sure you'll figure it out. Uh, welcome, Private Steve. I have no idea what any of this means. I don't know. You guys figure it out. I hope someone took a screenshot. <sighs> Deadland. Should have listened to Just Drop. Yeah, probably. Oh, by the way, guess who's dead? Pugsy missed. Not. That's not very nice. I guess we just hit him with too many damn tomatoes. One tomato too many. I'm getting more invisible letters and normal letters. It's very frustrating. <gasps> Damn! Damn! <gasps> oh, oh, I got it! Oh, man! I grabbed it as I was dying. It's a breakdown of how the password system works. Makes it where you can decode how to get a password for the end of the game without beating everything. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Interesting that they would actually put something, something like that in a game. I forget who the actual developers of this game were. I don't think it's Traveler's Tales. I, I think it has a lot of the same programmers who worked on Travel, who worked on Pugsy, but it wasn't exactly uh, Traveler's Tales. 
It was published by Psygnosis, I know that. But anyway, whoever the developers were, very clever of them. Apparently the name of the developers was Raising Hell. Interesting. But you know, Cygnosis games had a lot of uh, little crossover references in them. There's a spell that gives you lemmings in the level. Just little lemmings walking everywhere. They, they don't do anything. It's just a uh, cosmetic thing. And uh, there's a level in Pugsy that contains wabbits. A secret level. So yeah, a lot of little nods to each other in uh, in Cygnosis games. One more, one more, one more. Thank you. Damn, I still have another level. Did Cygnosis also do Populous? No, I don't think so. I don't know, they might have. See, I always thought Psygnosis was a developer. And I thought it was the same developer that was behind uh, Lemmings and uh, Pugsy and, and Wiz and Liz. But, uh, since, since there were so many, you know, cross-references in the games. But uh, apparently not. Apparently they were just the, uh, just the publisher. Damn! Stupid invisible letters. Pulled that one out of my ass. Wow. Alright, can't afford to dick around too much. I'm pretty much just ignoring the vegetables at this point. The fruit. Which is unfortunate because my money's not going to last forever. I need to, uh, I need to do another take a chance game and try to get some more money. Ah <gasps> oh, man, there was an extra time thing there too. I could have grabbed it right before I went out the door. Uh, Grey Words, welcome to the chat room. Changed to Bizarre Creations. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember Bizarre Creations. They did, uh... They did, uh, Gravity Wars and, like, a really famous racing game. I forget which one. Like, not Gran Turismo, but, like, one of those. Which is a weird legacy for a company that made this game. I wonder if those games also have the same trademark humor that this game has. Alright, all we managed to get in that one was an apple. Oh yeah, Project Gotham Racing, that's the one. And Moore's Draconis is like my, uh, my Wikipedia guy for this stream. Like I mentioned something, I don't know it. BAM! Consult the Book of Knowledge. Alright, I'm going to uh, take a chance again. And hopefully build up my money a little bit more. Geometry Wars is a sweet one. Yeah, I've heard that. I've never played it. All right, money. Okay. I need more. More money. More uh time. Let's see if I can pull off this trick. See, it's really weird. Like it doesn't I sort of got it to work there, but not really. Thousand points. You gotta do better, game. Come on. Quit jerking me around. Well, at least I've made my money back.
more or less. I think that's a trap. No, well, it wasn't. Should've gone for the star. Damn it. I think this is a trap too. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's a good thing I didn't actually go for that one. Still 45 seconds. That's pretty good. Yes! Cheated death. Wow. I have tried so many times to get that to actually work. I'm amazed that it does. 20,000 points. Nothing to sneeze at. It only works from left to right, apparently. I can't get it working right to left at all. Just when, I, just when I'm running this way. And even then, only sometimes. Oh well. Hmm. <sighs> Add some zeros to that figure. Oh! Couldn't cheat death forever. Someone needs to make a game and call it Fighting Fractals. Someone needs to make a game that involves tessellation somehow. Some kind of puzzle game revolving around tessellations. I don't know what they could do exactly, but, uh... I was watching a stream of, uh... Of the game Jelly Boy. Or, uh, Jerry Boy, I guess. And one of the bosses... Is, uh... You know that... Piece of art by MC Escher? That's like, a bunch of fish? But then between the fish... Like, there are birds with a wingspan that fits exactly in the fish. It's a tessellation. That was one of the bosses. It was kind of cool. I was like, you know, there need to be more games that have tessellations in them. Damn, I was so close to getting that carrot too. I did tessellation puzzles in grade school maths. You know, that's another thing. Why do non-Americans feel the need to pluralize the word math? I mean, math is one of those, uh, it's one of those nouns that's kind of its own plural. Maths just sounds weird. I mean, I guess mathematics, you know, you pluralize that, and math is an abbreviation of that. But I don't know. It's kind of like money. It would just sound weird if you said monies. Is that a... Damn. Different types of math, I'd assume. Calculus is a form of math. Yeah, but still, you wouldn't say... I mean, in America, you would never say maths. It's like a strictly British... British English thing. You would say, you know, I'm in, I'm in calculus. Or I'm in... You know, I have three different math courses this semester. Calculus, trigonometry, and, uh, and, and, boom. The three most common types of math. I've never been a math person. I made it up to uh, trig pre-cal in high school, and that was pretty much as much as my brain could handle. Of course, my teacher for that class was really shitty. Which, you know, I, I hate to blame my ability on a bad teacher, but uh, you know, sometimes you just know that a teacher is not doing as good a job as he can. I've always been more of a wordsmith than a numbersmith, I would say. Let's play Math Blaster! Damn, I thought I saw it. Apparently not. 
Oh my god. Ah. Oh, this is not going well. I always find it pointless to argue about words or grammar. As long as you understand each other, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, I wasn't really arguing. I was just uh, making an observation. I mean, by all means, you know. Pluralized math. Variety is the spice of life. And other awesome cliches. Clichés are the spice of life. You know, I try to avoid clichés like the plague. Alright. Fuck the carrot. I just want to get out of here. Because I have lost way too many lives on this level. See, what makes it difficult is that all the wabbits aren't on the screen. I mean, even once you collect the word, there's still lapis falling out of the sky. So it makes it really difficult to uh, get all of them quickly. And I did not collect any fruit at all in that round. But uh, you know what? I think I want to call it here. Uh, it's close enough to two hours, and, uh, I would, I really wish, uh, I really wish I could grind for extra lives, but there's not really an easy way to do that. The most extra lives you can get between levels is one. Otherwise, I would grind for extra lives off camera. Cheat! What kind of man do you take me for? Uh, but it's been a an enjoyable stream. Um, join me again. Retro Week continues on Thursday. Um, not sure what it'll, what it'll be. It might be more of this, unless you guys hate hated watching this. In which case, I'll think of something else. Because you guys hated watching humans, so I don't want it to be that. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please follow me on Twitch if you enjoy the stream. Um, follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Duke the Bump. Uh, Twitter.com slash Duke LPs. Uh, you can add Duke of the Bump on Steam or AOL Instant Messenger or Google Chat if you would like to converse with me. I can't guarantee I will always uh, be around. And just drop Snuck his chat penis in there. Nice. Duke of the Bump. Good night.